Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be virtualizing Windows 10 ARM on an M1 Mac using Parallels Desktop. So Parallels is currently in beta stage, but it's proven to have a superior experience compared to QEMU when running Windows 10 ARM. So let's begin. So we have the Windows logo and the startup ring. Then we now have our cursor. We then have the logon screen. And finally, we are at the desktop. So this particular build is build 21277 for ARM64. And what's interesting about this build, it's actually the first one to allow for the emulation of X64 applications. So what we're gonna start with is a Geekbench test. So we can just type up Geekbench. This is the tryout version, but it will still work, obviously. So the CPU architecture is ARCH64, which is a different name for ARM64. But let's begin the benchmarks. Shouldn't take too long. So now we have the final Geekbench 5 scores. We have a single core score of 1475 and a multi-core score of 1593. And this is with four gigs of RAM virtualized. Now, if we compare it to the Surface Pro 10, the Surface Pro has a single core score of 715 and a multi-core score of 2735. So it's obvious an M1 VM running Windows 10 ARM is more superior compared to a Surface Pro 10. And for the record, the Surface Pro 10 has 16 gigabytes of RAM. Unbelievable, isn't it? Next up, we're gonna be looking at a quick demonstration on, on how well a YouTube video will perform. So this is 1080p, 60 FPS. Let's see how it responds. So far, it's mostly smooth. And that looks pretty good overall. So, I think YouTube videos are relatively playable, but I think it would be in a frame rate less than 60 FPS. I think around 30, 40. So this is a second video that I'm showing to demonstrate how well Windows 10 ARM can respond to fast videos. So it's lagging a bit, but we'll let it do it one more time with this Siri icon. Yep, I think on that end, I feel like it still needs a bit of work, but for a virtualized GPU, this is almost perfect. Next up, we're gonna be testing how well a 3D game performs. So we're gonna be using Gary's mod for this. We're gonna start a new game with the GM construct. So with Gary's mod, I'm actually using it with the Half-Life 2 stuff. So we're just gonna do a bit of target practice. We have the laser. Let's use an SMG. As you can see, the frame rate's pretty smooth. Now we're gonna try it with, an, with a grenade. As you can see, it is relatively smooth. And we'll try an RPG at the target practice as well. Just do a bit of walking and running. So 
So I think overall, the graphics on Gmod is really fast, so it would be safe to say you'd be able to play games such as Half-Life 2 without any major lag. So that's enough of Gary's mod. Now one thing that's great with Parallels Desktop is that you have virtualized integration drivers. For example, all of this you see right here, this desktop is shared with the Mac OS. So say if you open up a folder here and put it as a test folder, and we can go back to the Mac OS, you can see the test folders there as well. And if we delete it and go back to the VM, it's gone. Now, if we go into the Windows Explorer, you can see that all of these folders have the Mac OS folder icons. This means that it's shared with both Windows on ARM and Mac OS Big Sur. Last but not least, we're going to be doing a quick test of Adobe Lightroom for ARM. So I've already demonstrated this in a previous video using QEMU, but we'll see how it performs on Parallels. So right now we have this photo that I took at Darling Harbour of the sunset, and we can drop the exposure a little bit, increase the contrast, we can drop some of the highlights, and have the shadow set here. Then we can also change the temperature. So if we were to make it a bit colder, it looks something like this, but we can also make it warm. We'll just go for the cold option. We can change the tint. And we can also change some of the vibrance and the saturation. I think it's a bit over the top, but yeah. So that's Adobe Lightroom for ARM on Windows 10. So that was a demonstration of Windows 10 ARM virtualized on Parallels Desktop. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.